Hey there, thanks for tuning in to Duck Bricks. I'm Chris, and well, I've spent almost a year trying to make the largest custom Lego mosaic I've ever done, and today, it is finally ready. So 2021 is the 10th anniversary of Lego Ninjago, and so I have created a massive 10th anniversary Lego Ninjago mosaic based off the artwork of famous Lego Ninjago artist Joshua Deck. Now, Joshua Deck is actually an artist who draws the characters from Lego Ninjago in human-like or realistic forms, which is why you can see on the image on the screen here that most of the characters and drawings and posters that he makes are actually trying to portray Ninjago in a more realistic light, which is a style that I think is pretty cool and honestly works out very well for the source material. In fact, his artwork has been featured in an official Lego set. Anyone who purchases the Ninjago City Garden set will automatically get a small little poster for the pilot seasons drawn by Joshua Deck in this style, which I think is really cool. And so at the beginning of this year, when LEGO was ramping up a ton of promotional material to present the 10th anniversary of one of their longest running story-based themes, Joshua Deck unveiled this massive artwork piece made to specifically celebrate the 10th anniversary of Ninjago as part of the cover of a Ninjago fan magazine. Now, when I first saw this piece of artwork, I was really floored with just how good it looked, just how well all of the different characters were presented with their different elemental colors, but still having their features remain intact. There's all sorts of really awesome details in this image, and oh boy, was this a lot of work to do. So the first thing that I had to do was actually Photoshop the photo itself to make it a little bit easier to convert to mosaic form. You can see the image up on screen here has the Ninjago text and the 10 years line, which is fantastic when you have a good resolution, but at a resolution like this for a mosaic-like thing, it just wasn't really coming out right. So the first thing I did was just remove the Ninjago text and try to focus on bringing the firstborn dragon silhouette down a little bit just so I could fill the empty space. The next thing was actually trying to refine the character faces in the Mosaic program Lego Art Remix. I've covered Lego Art Remix a ton on this channel before, and I've used it to create my own Lego mosaics, be it for Bionicle or Ninjago or even just other stuff. Lego Art Remix is really useful because you can upload any image and it draws from Lego's existing part catalog to present the best form of mosaic for the creator. It also is really good in pulling from specific existing Lego Art Mosaic sets. Of course, LEGO has their own official mosaics, and what LEGO Art Remix does is take these official sets, take the pieces, and say, here are the exact pieces that you need, and if you own these existing sets, here's what you can make with the parts that you have. So of course, this one was a little different, because this uses a ton of different colors, and there isn't really an official LEGO mosaic out there that uses just this many different colors. Of course, you have all of the different ninjas, so you've got the greens for Lloyd, the oranges and browns for Cole, red, orange, and light yellow for Kai, the light blue, white, and even some of the sand blue for Zane, and even moving up to this side, we've got the blues for Jay, purples and pinks for Pixel, and some of the darker blues for Nia, and of course, gold for Wu and black for Garmadon, so all sorts of different colors here, and it definitely was a big challenge and a logistics issue figuring out just exactly how big to make this mosaic and exactly how to put it all together. This, of course, is the largest mosaic I have ever made. And this I actually was able to create because of LEGO's amazing Bricks and Pieces program. So if you don't know, Bricks and Pieces is LEGO's official service where you can order parts both in bulk or just specific elements that you wanted to get, especially if you don't have to buy these specific sets to get them. And Bricks and Pieces is really great for LEGO stud elements. Mostly because a lot of the newer colors of LEGO studs, like the dark brown color or some of the dark reds, are still fairly expensive on Brickling. If you want them in bulk, like for example, I needed hundreds and hundreds of dark brown studs, that would have been really expensive on Brickling. But thanks to Bricks and Pieces, every single piece is the same price for a stud. Just four cents, so it's really easy to get a ton of them in bulk because you're not actually paying too, too much compared to the Brickling prices. And then came one of the other harder parts. Originally, I wasn't exactly sure how to put this mosaic together because I knew I wanted it to retain the white background from Joshua Deck's original artwork, but there really wasn't a white large LEGO baseplate piece that I could use. 
until thankfully lego recently released the everyone is awesome set which featured this large mosaic style size base plate in white it had been released in a few other older sets but this was one of the first times it appeared in a modern set which means that i could get it off of bricks and pieces and so despite it costing me a fair bit of money it was still cheaper than again getting it off of bricklink and i got the building experience basically the same as the standard lego mosaic sets and then, of course, came the hard part, actually putting everything together. Once I had painstakingly layered every single stud on this mosaic, the next step was to actually figure out how do I take the mosaic that I have split up on different 32 by 32 boards and actually make it into a cohesive structure. And well, as I turn this around, you can see that this was a pretty difficult task and honestly just involved me using up a ton of tape to actually make it some sort of a cohesive structure. You see, each of these squares here is just one piece of the mosaic. So I used a ton of different plates, but I also didn't want to waste too many pieces or make it too heavy. So I came to a compromise. Strengthen all of the different intermediate elements or anything where plates were touching each other, but then just use black packing tape at the back of this to make sure everything held together. And it took a few tries and a lot of trial and error and a lot of times of this just absolutely falling apart. But I finally was able to get it in good working order such that it actually retains its shape as a standard mosaic. And I can actually find somewhere to put this on my wallet. Which is something I actually should probably go figure out right now. Because this is a pretty crowded space. Not really sure if I have a large blank open wall to actually display this. But I'll find some sort of place for it. And I'm definitely very happy to have been able to build this. Especially because I was able to complete it in time before the end of 2021. In fact, I first announced this project months ago when I first came up with the idea to make a large scale mosaic off of this particular artwork. It's actually been a really long time in the making. I actually completed the mosaic right before I headed off to college in August, but unfortunately I obviously could not bring this with me. So I kind of had to wait until I visited home again to actually film this segment and showcase it on video. I actually wasn't even planning on posting this video until much, much later, but circumstances aligned that I was able to visit home kind of impromptu last minute. So I quickly put this together and put together the video to show all of you. So thank you all so much and let me know down in the comments below what do you think of these Lego art mosaics? Are you inspired to make some of your own? Do you like them? Do you dislike them? And do you have any ideas on what mosaic I should make next? Be it Bionicle, Ninjago, or any other Lego related thing, I really love putting together these custom Lego art mosaics. And I'm always open to suggestions based on comments down below if anyone has good ideas on what would make a really cool mosaic. And so before we end this video, I'll do a few close-up shots of the mosaic itself, and then we'll wrap this thing up. All right, thank you so much for tuning in. Stay tuned to Duck Breaks for even more LEGO news, reviews, discussion, and analyses coming your way very soon, and bye-bye for now.